Do your YouTube subtitles exported from DaVinci Resolve look like this? Or are they out of sync by four seconds? Here's how you can easily fix both issues. The odd formatting of this SRT file from Resolve isn't an issue on YouTube's end. It's actually a glitch. Hopefully Blackmagic will fix this sometime in the future. But currently, all subtitles that are auto-generated are in bold. That's what these brackets are indicating. But because YouTube doesn't use the SRT file in the same way as the text in Resolve, it formats it incorrectly. If you're just using Resolve to generate an SRT file for YouTube, here's how you can get rid of the brackets. Open up your project in Resolve, find your subtitle track, and then change the font type to regular. Then it's just the case of exporting the subtitles like normal. This will give you the SRT file with formatting. You can then go to your uploaded video on YouTube, add subtitles and import that SRT file. And you'll see that the bold bracketed format is not there anymore. Easy. The second issue with out of sync subtitles can be easily fixed. This stems from an error in the frame rate of your project timeline. If you're like me and you shoot and edit at 23.976 frames per second, or if you shoot at 29.97 frames, then the SRT file when exported will have a three to four second delay at the beginning. To fix this, simply go to the project where you're generating the subtitles, copy the entire subtitle track, then go to the media pool and create a new timeline, making sure that it's not the same as the project settings and you set it to the closest round number to what frame rate you want. So for me, it's 24 frames per second. Then paste your entire subtitle track into this new timeline and export the SRT file like normal. When you add this file to your YouTube video, you'll notice that the delay has gone. If this video helped, consider checking out this video about why I think the Sony a6700 can make you a worse filmmaker.